The Broncos' first preseason game is officially in the books, and after seeing Trevor Simeon and Paxton Lynch up against a defense other than Denver's for the first time, it's safe to say Simeon is the stronger option for the quarterback position. Before I elaborate, hey Broncos country, I'm Alexis Perry back with another Denver Post Sports Minute. I told you yesterday that I would outline the good, the bad, and the ugly between the Broncos and Bears, so since we're already on the topic of the quarterbacks, let's just start with the bad. While he was most definitely the most comfortable of the two, saying that Simeon is the better guy for the starting position at this this point really isn't saying much at all. I just chose the lesser of two evils who went six of seven for just 51 yards instead of the guy who went six of nine for 42. One of them needed to do something to differentiate himself from the other. A touchdown pass could have been that something. However, the only Broncos quarterback that accomplished such feat was Kyle Sloter. The former UNC Bears stole the show with the third stringers in the fourth quarter, connecting with Isaiah McKenzie, who was a wide open target thanks to some blown coverage by the Bears. Speaking of the rookie McKenzie, Kenzie, let's move on to the good, the youngins. Whoop whoop! D'Angelo Henderson was another new Bronco who captured our attention, rushing 41 yards for the game winning touchdown. And let me tell you, the kid's quick. Also, I have to mention the no fly zone since we're talking about the best highlights of the game. How about Chris Harris Jr. with the pick six less than a minute into the game? But let's be honest, we're not worried about the NFZ heading into the regular season. Now, last but certainly not least, the ugly. While the apparent knee injury to defensive end Billy Wynn makes the cut for this category, the last of discipline we saw from the Broncos in the first half takes the cake. 10 penalties for 76 yards and four more which the Bears offset. Yeesh, clean it up boys. Best part about the whole night though, Denver wound up on top 24-17, sending Mark Sanchez and the Bears to the showers with their first loss of the year, while Vance Joseph got his first win as a head coach. Now Denver has a little over a week to gear up for the 49ers on August 19th. Paxton Lynch will get the start and maybe being surrounded by those top tier guys will force him to step up his game a bit and spice up this quarterback battle even more. Until then, follow me and Broncos beat writers Nick Codsmider and Nikki Javala on Twitter for the latest from Dove Valley. Have a great weekend, guys.